guys, it's Silly Gracie here and I felt really broken then just going, oh guys, I'm just hanging out in my apartment because I am really tired and I've had a really um, big long weekend. It was Australia Day yesterday, so we had Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday as the long weekends. Although some people did have to work Monday, but I didn't. Um, but now I just went to my old place and moved out the rest of my stuff because the lease is up in like a week so I grabbed all my last boxes and they're like all over the floor here um I've just been kind of bit by bit unpacking everything and I just feel so tired I don't know why I was planning to record some sims videos but I'm kind of like in one of those moods where you just I don't know you're just wrecked you just want to take it easy just gotta unpack so I'm sorry I haven't had the normal vids for the last few days. I thought maybe you guys can help me unpack now. I actually bought a fan, which is pretty exciting. Uh, this fan <laughs> is very exciting. It's like a fan that has some amazing, amazing settings. Got some incense burning here. Pretty cool. If you guys are ever wondering how to, uh, make your own homemade incense burner you can stick it in a lemon like that good to go except make sure that you actually don't do what i did and uh try not to have it like over the side so it gets incense everywhere james tenner youtube's gonna come down uh in a couple of days from sydney here to melbourne so we're gonna get to do some streaming i've got a webcam i've got some lighting that was actually meant to be delivered today I've got my new webcam just here, which is a good Logitech HD 180p. That's what I'm talking about. So we're going to do some live streams. I'll let you guys know about that. And um, I really need to clean all of this up before he gets here because this is just, what can I say, a hot mess. Hi guys, this is my Delicacy teddy bear. I love her. I've missed her. And this teddy bear came, teddy bear came from a lovely simile who came to my Melbourne meetup and I just, I love her so much. All right, now we're lying down. This is a different view of the apartment from uh, from the sky. Lots of cushions. I have a little bit of thing, like a little bit of a thing for fluff. Mm, and like textures. So you can see that this little texture fetish is really coming out here. But I'm actually thinking I might need to make a lasagna this week uh, for Boy Flickeracy because I'll be missing out on a special event he has and I feel bad I won't be able to see him but so I think I'll make him a lasagna and I just hope that food is a way to a man's heart <laughs> and um, that hopefully makes up for it so I might actually do a cooking video showing you how to make the, the lasagna tomorrow uh, because I found out a really good recipe where I've co combined several lasagna recipes that I know and I think it's all in the white sauce. It's all in the white sauce. So I might show you guys how to do that because uh, I know you guys have been asking for some cooking videos. And you know what? We might actually make two now I think of it because uh, James Turner is going to be coming to visit Melbourne from Sydney. So we're going to be doing all our streaming and stuff. So he might need a bit of energy. And uh, if he needs that energy, I'm going to have to make some good food. Mm-hmm. All right, we've got to get up. We've got lots to do right now. All right, let's take a look at some of the things that we have to unpack. One of my girlfriends is getting married, so I bought this magazine to go through. It's called Hooray, and it's just really beautiful. Um, hashtag Spano. No, it's not really a Spano. Um, it's just actually a magazine I really like, and um, yeah, it's just got lots of pretty pictures in it. So I bought that ages ago for us to go through, but I haven't actually had a chance to show her yet. I might actually put it in this acrylic tray. This acrylic tray is from West Elm. Uh, but I'll do a proper apartment to her soon when I'm fully moved in, you know. What is that? Oh my God, it's a random piece of broccoli just sitting in my acrylic tray. Where's it gone? Just kidding, I'm not gonna eat it. That would be yucky. That would be yucky, wouldn't it? Right, I'm just putting away this lovely wedding magazine. So maybe if people come and visit, such as James, he might want to have a read of Hooray. You never know. 
Never know what James might feel like doing when he's here. So let's make the house really nice for him. This is a plate that both Ligrissi's mom got me for Christmas. And it's so pretty. It's, she got it all the way from Vietnam, I think, which is pretty cool. So maybe we should put this in the kitchen. It's a lot of camera stuff when you're a YouTuber. You just, like I don't even vlog that often, but you just accumulate all of these bits and bobs. Like this is my second tripod now, because the other one's over, over there. And this one's really annoying because it has these adjustable parts, but you have to unwind them. Whereas the other one, it's just like you click and unclick it and it's way, 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 way easier. I also have some fairy lights that I bought from Tyco and they're just battery operated. And I was thinking I really want to put them somewhere for my videos. Do not get those lights tangled up because I just found out they're curtain lights. So they actually do go like across and then have bits hanging down and that's why if you get them tangled it's a really bad time um but yeah i just put them uh, above my bed because i just felt like i don't know they look nice above the bed there i do eventually want to get some artwork but that might have to wait a little bit uh when we have a bit more muller in the old piggy bank my favorite's this one the gobble of fire uh with the wait is this one with the triwizard cup or is that the Half-Blood Prince? I always get confused. Maybe it's the Half-Blood Prince. I don't know. And I also read this book, Down the Rabbit Hole, Holly Madison's um, book. And Holly Madison's a Playboy Bunny or an ex-Playboy Bunny. And this was the most depressing book to read. I don't think I actually finished it because I just found it really, really sad and a little bit messed up. So... I don't know, if you're into celebrities and kind of messed up stories about their life or the Playboy Mansion, then you could read this. But to be honest, I don't really recommend it. What else have we got in here? Oh, this one's a good one. This is a 3 a.m. book from Kiki K that I usually put next to my bed, which we're going to do right now. And uh, it's just really good to have a pen, which I'll have to grab soon and have this next to your bed in case you come up with any ideas while you're sleeping or if you wake up in the middle of the night, which I have been doing a lot lately. Fallout 4, the history book. I got sent this in the mail and I feel like I really need to play Fallout 4 now. <laughs> I do have these A30 um, Astro headphones that I was actually given to use and I was gonna do a video reviewing them, um, but I just, when I started using them, I think I don't, I, I don't know, I think my settings or something on my computer are making them sound really, really like echoey. And I tried a few different things, I'm just not really sure what's going on. So I'm going to ask James when he gets here, if he can figure out what it is, because obviously Astro headphones have a great reputation. They should be really good, <laughs> um, but I won't do a review on these until I know that I like them, um, because... I just don't do reviews on my channel uh, of products, particularly if they've just been given to me, unless I legitimately like them. Okay guys, I wanted to show you something really, really important. It's right here, as you can see. It is a box full of all of the beautiful letters and um, awesomeness you guys have made me and sent me uh, or given me at, a, at the Melbourne Meetup, or whenever you guys have sent me mail, I always put it in this box that I like to call the love box. Hmm. But yeah, it's basically the simile box of love, and I love looking back through it, and it makes me feel so happy, and makes me smile, and it is just like the most rewarding part of having a YouTube channel, is being able to physically go through this amazing box of things you guys have sent to me. And uh, so thank you to all of you guys who have made things or spent the time to write a letter. It's really, really, um, it really warms my green heart. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. There's a hoon going past. And I'll speak to you soon.